lockdown na naman. And it's so hard pag ganyan. But brothers and sisters, I want you to, I want to speak God's message of hope today. Okay? God knows and feels your pain. And today, receive His embrace. Receive His embrace through His message, through His songs. And because God's favor is flowing to you today. And whatever hardship, kung ano man yung hirap at challenges na na experience mo ngayon, don't give up. Okay, don't give up. God's help is on its way. Allow God to bless you today and the whole week. Because today and this whole week, something good will happen to you. Amen? Amen? Type, if you believe on that, I want you to type in the comment box, Amen. Okay, Amen. Yan. So, before we begin, uh, meron akong kwento sa inyo. Yan, as usual, may kwento. Amen. So, pre-pandemic ito. Pre-pandemic, may exam. Yan. Nahuli, may kodigo ang studyante, si Pedro. Oh, sabi ng teacher, Pedro, ano to? Yan, sabi ni Pedro, prayers ko po, ma'am. Prayers. Sabi ng teacher, at bakit may answers yung prayers mo? Bakit? Sabi ni Pedro, Naku! Sinagot na ang prayers ko, ma'am. It's a miracle. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, don't stop praying to God. Okay, don't stop because God always listens to you. Amen? He answers your prayers in His perfect time and in, in its perfect version in your perfect season. Amen? So, are you ready to be blessed? If you're ready, let's pray our favorite prayer here in the feast. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together with me. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want you to raise your hands to the word and let's sing together, Thy word, O God. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy Sunday. Ayan. So, I'm so happy. Diba? Sunday ngayon. So Sunday is the first day of the week. So dapat we offer it to the Lord. Diba? Ganun, huh? First fruit. Diba? Offer to the Lord. Today, we're back in our transformational message, our study in the book of Matthew. Okay, we will dig in. And our one big message for today is don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Okay? Don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Imagine this one. Imagine mo to, ha? Put it in your mind. Nasa office ka, Christmas party. Okay? Tapos may parafol. Ganyan naman yan, di ba? Pag Christmas party, may parafol. Tapos, your name was called. Masyadong maaga. Or your, your name is called early kasi may may parampol. First prize, mug. Second prize, siguro 250 pesos gift, cash certificate, di ba? Third, third prize, ang winner, t-shirt. Ayan. So, nanalo ka ng t-shirt. May nakalagay, burakay. <laughs> Tapos, tumingin ka sa mga ibang nanalo. Left, at saka right. Tinignan mo, nako, dapat masaya ka. Pero, in reality, hindi. Bakit? Kasi yung, yung, yung katabi mo, mas maganda yung premyo. Mas maganda. So, nagdasal ka kay Lord. Sabi mo, Lord, bakit binigay mo sa akin yung Boracay t-shirt? At yung katabi ko, Boracay trip. Good for two. Grabe naman. Tapos, na-realize mo yung nanalo na katabi mo. Hindi pa nag-church. Tapos, naku, kung maka-curse, naku, apat na language. Apat na languages mag-curse. Tapos, napapray ka naman kay Lord. Sabi mo, Lord naman, I'm a good guy. I attended the feast 
nagdaaten pa ako ng small group, nagsiserve pa ako. Ako, bakit hindi ako ang Tripto Boracay? Bakit siya? Ang bait ko, Lord. Question, do you feel this sometimes? Most of the time. This is what envy does. Anong ginagawa ng envy? It steals our joy. It steals, it prevents us from celebrating the, the, the people's, people, other people's blessings. Okay? It prevents us, it gives us misery. Okay? Kung may katabi ka, itulak mo, tapikin mo, sabihin mo, huwag ganun. O, kung ikaw lang mag-isa, ganunin mo. <laughs> huwag ganun. <laughs> but don't worry, this is all be addressed in our Bible passage for today. May solusyon. Okay, relax ka lang. And I give you a warning, this is the most illogical story in the Bible. Okay? So, dalawang kwento ito, pero ito yung main, yung una. No? So, Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 to 7 in our NLT version. And help, let's read this together for the kingdom. Go. For the kingdom of heaven is like the landowner who, who went out early one morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay the normal daily wage and sent them out to work. At 9 o'clock in the morning, he was passing through the marketplace and saw some people standing around doing nothing. So he hired them, telling them he would pay them whatever was right at the end of the day. So they went to work in the vineyard. At noon and again at 3 o'clock, he did the same thing. At 5 o'clock that afternoon, he was in town again and saw some more people standing around. He asked them, why haven't you been working today? They replied, because no one hired us. The landowner told them, then go out and join the others in my vineyard. Listen to this. Allow me to retell the story. Kasi medyo para may details. Nandun yung thrill sa details. One day at 6 a.m. in the morning, the landowners go to, go to the marketplace to hire some people. So a group of men are looking for work. O ganun yun dati ng unang panahon. Doon sila sa... sa Sa Agora. Yan. Agora is a Greek word. So, like, for, for hiring ng mga tao. Doon sila pumapunta. And, and, the, and then the landowner hires them for, for a day, for 12 hours work. And he promised them to pay a standard wage. In ancient time, it's called a denarius. Okay? A denarius. And then, off they go to work. Doon na. Work na sila from 6 a.m. and work. And three hours later, anong oras yun? 9 a.m. 9 a.m., he sees another batch of men. Walang ginagawa. So he hires them. And, and the same thing, ginawa din niya yun, 12 noon and then 3 p.m. And he keeps hiring a batch of men for work. And then at 5 p.m., he still sees, meron pa din, walang ginagawa. So anong ginawa ng landowner? He hires them again. And then in other words, the landowners hired five employee groups. How many? Five. Yes, lima. Employee group number one worked for 12 hours. Employee group number two worked for nine hours. Employee group number three worked for six hours. Employee group number four worked for three hours. And lastly, employee group number five worked for an hour. And if you notice, if you notice, huh? Out of these five groups, only the first group of employees had a contract with the owner. Yung una lang, he promised a standard wage. Ano yun? A denarius. Okay, a denarius. Yun lang ang promise niya. And, and the other group continue with a logical part of the story in verses 8 to 16. Let's, let's read this one. Verses 8 to 16. That evening, let's read. That evening, he told the foreman to call the workers in and pay them, beginning with the last workers first. When those hired at 5 o'clock were paid, each, of, each received a full day's wage. When those hired first came to get their pay, they assumed they would receive more. They assumed, but they too were paid a day's wage. When they received their pay, 
they protested to the owner. They those people worked only for an for one only for only one hour, and yet you paid them just as much as you paid us, who worked all day in the scorching heat. He answered one of them, friend. I haven't been unfair. Didn't you agree to work all day for the for the usual wage? Take your money and go. I wanted to pay this last worker the same as you. Is it against the law for me to do what I want with my money? Should you be jealous because I am kind to others? So those who are last now will be first then. And those who are first will be last. Alam mo, this grumbling in, is very understandable. What the landowner did was crazy. <laughs> crazy talaga. Oh, let me explain. Huh? Imagine at the end of the work day, okay, which is 6 p.m. 6 p.m. So the landowner calls everyone, okay, sweldo na, sweldo na, come here, pila, pila. Una niyang tinawag yung 5 p.m. employee group first. Yun yung una niyang tinawag, una niyang pinapila. And these guys were hard last. Okay, 5 p.m. hinar. Pinalan ko. Siguro pumupo ako mapa yun, 5.15, 5.30. Nagsisimula, 5.45. So, 15 minutes yun. Tapos tinawag agad. Okay, tapos na. Diba, fresh na fresh pa. Ni hindi pa pinawisan. So, para bang, para bang nananadya yung land owner. It seems he wants conflict. Kasi, kasi pinapamukha niya talaga sa iba. Diba? Na generous siya, na binigay, binigay niya ang unfair advantage itong group number five. Pwede naman. Pwede naman unahin niya yung group number one. Diba? Yung nag-work ng 12 hours and then pag nakuha na nila yung daily wage nila, alis na sila. Hindi walang gulo. Hindi nila nakita. Diba? And the owner wants, but the owner wants to display the unfairness. Display with, with 3D effects. Diba? Ito na. Nakadisplay na. Nung, nung binayaran niya ang group number five ng standard wage, nakita siyempre ng lahat. And all the remaining workers smiled. Ngiti, tuwang-tuwa sila. Sabi, they assume. That's the word. They assume. He gave those guys a standard wage. One hour lang, hindi pinawisan. And for an hour work, uh, siguro sa amin, mas malaki. O yan. So imagine them while standing in line habang nag-aantay, excited. So display, pinaparinig nila talaga sa land owner, gaano kasakit yung katawan nila sa pagtatrabaho. Alay ko, grabe, ang hirap. Oh, ganun, may sound effects pa, di ba? Para marinig talaga ng land owner. But, to their horror, the land owner gives them the same amount. So they were shocked and then their jaws will drop. Sabi nila, their hearts fall into ground and they start cursing and they start kicking things. Alam mo, ano ang suspecha ko kay God? Si God do eh, yung land owner. Alam mo ano? Ayun mo ko ano? Ayun mo sa comment box, ano? Ano? Ayan, anong suspecha? <laughs> I think God blesses people in front of us, in front of you, to train our heart to trust in His goodness, even when it's not obvious. Yes, when it seems that God is not favoring you, when it seems that you're getting less and the other person is getting more, God wants you to trust that He has already blessed you. Amen? Amen. Type that in the comment box. Amen. Tinitrain ka lang ni Lord. Yung heart mo tinitrain. Okay, to trust Him more. Na ibi-bless ka din. More than pa dyan. More than pa dyan. Don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Amen? Yan. Many times we feel like we're part of group employee number one. We, when we discover na yung office mate mo, mas malaki yung salary. Na yung, yung kaibigan mo, naku, mas maganda yung coaching din na drive. Tapos yung classmate mo dati, Oh, hindi naman ganun katalainuhan. Diba? Pero na ngayon, nakakatira sa magandang subdivision. Like, ikaw, oh, naku, naka, naka, ganito lang. Diba? When you find out that your equals are not your equals anymore and they're getting ahead and you're left behind. But here's the question, are you really left behind? Is God really unfair? 
let me tell you something. Are you listening? Are you listening? Can you type in the comment box? I'm listening. I'm listening. Grace is always not fair. I'll repeat. Grace is always not fair. Jesus is teaching the, the, different, the difference between grace and justice. Iba yun. I've got news for you. Grace is not just. Grace is not fair. Grace is not logical. It's irrational. It's, it's absurd. It's, here's the reality. We have no problem. We have no problem naman with grace, to be honest with you. As long as we're the one receiving it. Nama? As long as tayong binibigyan ng grace, walang problema, brother Ev, as long as we're employees, group number two, three, four, and five, lalo na group number five, no? as long as tayo yung beneficiaries, walang problem sa grace. We're okay with grace. But, eto na, malaking but, but, when others are the ones receiving grace, no! We want justice. Justicia, diba? Justicia. So when grace is given to someone else, we complain, dapat that grace should be given to me. Believing that I work harder, I work longer, I work earlier. I remember another story in the Bible that thinks the same way. If you remember the story of the prodigal son, naalala niya? Prodigal son, yes. The eldest son could not understand why. And his father was so loving to his immoral and irresponsible younger brother. Imagine this one. Ito, imagine mo in your mind. The older brother came from, comes from working in the farm. Okay, talagang pagod, di ba? Whole day, nag, nagpagod. Walking home, and then from, from a distance, narinig niya, loud sound. May lights pang lumalabas sa bahay nila. Tapos nakita niya, may mga catering truck sa labas ng bahay. Nakapart. Tapos sabi niya, Pare, anong meron sa loob? Sabi ng mga lalaki sa labas. Oh, bro, your kapatid mo, your brother, your younger brother has returned. Sabi niya, what? And then the older brother went straight to his father. Sabi niya, dad naman, you're unfair to me. Sabi ng tatay niya, why naman? How could you do this? I've been serving you all my life, every single day. May isang litsyon manok para sa kaibigan, sa mga kaibigan ko to celebrate. Wala! Di ba? But this younger brother who, who, who wasted half of your money and then, and ikaw nagpa-party, in-invite mo pa si Ben and Ben sa bahay natin. Di ba? <laughs> if in reality, alam mo, kung titignan mo yung story, the only logical person in the story is yung older brother. Okay? Try to put yourself in his shoes. Well, wala namang shoes dati. Sandal. Sandal. What's so disturbing is that there was a significant time lag between, between the younger brother smelling like a pig, begging for food, and smelling like a prince and then partying with friends. Alam mo It happened so quick and so fast. It's a few hours long. It's, it's so unfair. It's just this, di ba? Justice, mag, parang iniisip mong magsa, sa ginawa ng younger brother, mag-suffer naman siya kahit konti, di ba? We think like this. Why? Because in our mind, they have sinned and they deserve to be punished. Yes? Please, let them suffer for a while before isave mo sila, Lord. Para matuto naman. Pamilya, and here's a big warning. In your lifetime, you will see some people dancing who should not be dancing, celebrating who should not be celebrating, being blessed who not, should not be being blessed. It's dahil sa mga ginawa nila. Kapatid, you have a choice. You have a choice. You can, you can either celebrate with them or go out with the party and complain to God. Okay? It's really your choice. And here's my encouragement to you. Are you ready? I urge you, don't envy employee number two, three, four, and five. Okay? Instead, celebrate with the people who receive grace from God. Ask me why. Ask me why. 
If you want to know the answer, just type, why, why? Why, why I need to celebrate na binigay ng extra grace sa iba? Eh, hindi nga, masarap pakiramdam ko eh. Why? Ask me why. Because in another season of your life, you will be that guy who will be receiving grace. Maybe not now. Maybe not yet. But in another season of your life, you will be needing that grace. You will be that youngest son. And you will be that desperate for grace. Okay? So then don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Amen? Amen. Put your hands over your chest. Can I lead you into a prayer? And then close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Lord, I surrender my life to you. I entrust my life to you. Into your grace. I believe in your love and in your grace. I have everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's raise our hands to honor his word and let's sing together, Thy word, O God. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy Sunday, everybody. Ayan. So, before we start, basahin ko muna yung mga comments natin. Hello, sis Cheryl. Ayan. Sis Jessica. Sis AZ. Ayan. Brother Nick. Ayan. Hello, Brother Nick. From Cavite. Sis Anne from Mandaluyo. Ayan. So, thank you very much for being with us. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. Nakasama ko kayo ngayon. We're live right now. So, it's so... Alam mo, kahit naka-lockdown tayo, we're still connected. Okay? We're still connected. And prayers has no distance. So we continue to pray for each other. Ayan. And I thank you for continuously supporting the ministry. Okay? This ministry. Alam mo, because of your tithes, because of your love offering, your giving, we are able to, to do this. No? To reach out to to as many people as possible, sharing them God's message of hope and God's message of forgiveness and love, especially in these dark times in our country, in our place, in the world. We do pray for them. We also do small groups after this live streaming. Alam mo, whole Sunday and the whole week, and how many small groups, okay, reflecting on this message and, and applying it in a practical way. Again, by giving your tithes, this will go a long, long way. Uh, we also support our mercy ministries. And today, I want to share with you this lesson. Alam mo, when you give to God, yes, maraming na be blessed. People are blessed. Okay, the, the workers of the Lord will be blessed also. But in reality, sabihin mo nga, in reality, in reality, that's just a small portion. Why? Because the more blessed is the giver. Is the giver. Siguro nag-iisip ka, paano nangyari yun, brother Ed? Paano? Ito. Listen to this. When you focus on being a blessing, God, make sure that you are always blessed. Amen? You are not a conduit. Yung dinadaanan, no. God will ensure that you will overflow. Yung blessing overflow. Puno ka palagi, overflow. Because God will make sure that you're always blessed. So continue to be a blessing. Continue to give. Where's the, here's the giving details in the screen. You can print screen. Okay? And then give. Continue to give. Okay? And be a generous person because that's who you are. And, okay? We have a bank deposit and Gcash, Paymaya, and give online. Okay? So let's continue. God's message to you today is don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. So that's God's message for you today. And if you really think hard about it, I don't, I don't like to get what I deserve, to be honest with you. Bakit? Kasi, honestly, I'm a sinner. 
I'm not perfect, number one. And number two, I'm a sinner. If I get what I deserve, kawawa ako. Diba? Kawawa. Kawawa ako. No. I want to get what God gives to me. Why? I rather trust God's goodness. God's hearts. Alam mo, yung generosity ni Lord kaysa sa akin. Mas okay yun. My okay, friend, if there's one thing you need to remove from your heart, It's the poison of entitlement. Sabihin mga entitlement. Yan. Some people say, I deserve to be blessed more Kasi, than this new guy. I deserve to be blessed more than the other person because I sacrifice more. I, I speak like this. Pag ganito ang language mo, it means you don't understand the gospel of Jesus yet. Why? Because everything you receive So far, in life right now, comes from pure grace, if you come to think about it. Yes, you did not work for it. You did not earn it. It was all given by God generously. Yes. And to the complaining group employee number one, the landowner said, take what is yours and go. Diba yung sinabi sa scripture? So today, God is telling you the same thing. Take your grace and go. Take your grace and go. Don't insist on what you deserve. Instead, insist on what grace delivers. Allow God to give you out of God's out of the goodness of His heart, and you will be surprised. Masu surprise ka. It's one thousand, even a million times better. Trust God that to to give you what is best for you. Amen. In the season. Of your life right now, yes. People think seniority means entitlement. That's very wrong. Malipu yan. Why? Because seniority is a call for sacrifice. It's a call for giving. Seniority means sacrifice. Will you be the eldest son who sacrifices life for the family? Will you be that group employee number one who sacrifices for the rest of the group? I want you to say yes. Okay, type that in the comment box. Yes. Yes. If you're the eldest or, the, or a parent or a leader, or a pioneer in a group, your role is to sacrifice. Never try to get what is, what is fair for you. No. Why? Because if you do, I assure you, 100%, gulo yan. Conflict will happen. Your role is to see that you get lesser benefits. While the other get more benefits, the grace be the grace be a grace filled person, and when you do this, alam mo na mga yari, trust that their their God will be will find a way to reward you outside of the existing system, and believe me, you can bet on God, amen. That on God. Maasahan mo si Lord John. Expertise niya yan. I repeat, seniority means sacrifice. Yes? Parents make this the same sacrifice. Leaders make the same sacrifices. Pioneers make this same sacrifice in your relationships. Always be the grace-filled person. Be generous in your love, in your forgiveness towards others. Okay? Be reckless and outrageous of grace. Dear children, dear spouse, dear parents and friends. Alam mo, personally, as a son, my parents gave me unconditional love. Even many times, I hurt them. Grabe, di ba? As a student, I receive a lot of sponsors for my studies. And I, I don't deserve it. College pa lang, even graduate school, I don't deserve it, but it, it, it's given. That's grace. As an employee, my bosses gave me breaks and generously shared to me things that makes me better and promotion after promotion. That's grace. As an entrepreneur, customer trusted me. Mentors patiently guiding me even I made tons of mistakes. Okay? As a preacher and a feast builder, a minister, my brothers and sisters in the community continue to trust me and support me. My spiritual leaders continue to guide me. Even I make mega tons of mistakes every day. 
Oh, hey, grabe. They're, they're very patient and generous to me. Until today. That's grace. As a husband, with all my weaknesses and failures, my wife continues to understand and support and love me. As a father, alam mo, dami kong mali sa mga anak ko. But they're, they're accepting and loving. All I can see is grace. Grace given to me generously, undeserved, but given anyway. I don't know anong, anong situation mo ngayon, kapatid. Perhaps you feel that you, there's injustice has been done to you. Perhaps you're getting you're getting unfair share. Alam mo, hindi, hindi, hindi tama. Perhaps you feel that God is blessing others more than you. And as we come to worship Him, I want you to trust God's grace. Okay, trust in the grace that flowed from His cross. He gave His life so that you get what you don't deserve. You get what God's grace delivers to you. You don't have to chase after grace right now. Alam mo, alam mo ba yun? Because what Jesus did, grace will chase after you. Blessings will chase after you. Miracles will chase after you. Abundance will chase after you because of what Jesus did in the cross. All you need to do is accept. Accept Him. Say this with me. God will bless me today. God will bless me today. Again, God will bless me today. Type that in the comment box. God will bless me today. Amen. And amen. Don't, dis- don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Amen. Let's close this with a prayer. Put your hands over your chest. And close your eyes. And say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I trust my whole family to you. I entrust my life to your grace. I believe in your unconditional love, in your grace. Because of your grace, I have everything. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen. So, for this whole week, I want you to see this guide questions. Ito yung guide questions natin. Yan. So number one is, do you have an, intri- an experience where you trusted in God's grace instead of insisting what you deserve and thus receive much more? So please share. Is there a situation in your life right now that this message can be applied? So I want you to, to invite someone, watch again this message, this talk, and answer those questions, reflect, share those questions. And when you do that, I believe God will be there. Jesus will be there. And he promised in the scriptures that two or three are gathered in my name.